Now, the next part of speech we're going to look at is the adjective. An adjective is something that describes a noun. So when you're looking at adjectives, you're looking at um, things like red or big or 13. Um, so an adjective is something, it's going to answer the questions. Um, which one? Or what kind? Or how many? So I might have uh, an adjective, um, the big truck. Uh, which truck is it? It's the big truck. Um, or I could also say, what kind of truck is it? It's the big truck. Um, or I might have uh, two big trucks. Two would be an adjective explaining how many. Um, a lot of people also consider adjectives um, to be things like determiners, a, an, and the. Some people set the determiners aside in a separate class, uh, but really for the purposes of understanding grammar, you just can consider them adjectives. They're adjectives that tell you how many and sometimes also which one. In the case of the, it tells you which one. So those are adjectives. Then we also have adverbs. And if you've ever paid any attention to me ever in my life at all, you already know I like to say adverbs are very sneaky and slippery parts of speech. The reason is adverbs can describe almost anything. An adverb will describe a verb, or it may describe an adjective, or it may describe another adverb. And it's because adverbs are so flexible um, that they can show up almost anywhere. They have a powerful effect on the meaning of a sentence a lot of times. So when we're looking at adverbs, we want to be sure as we're putting a sentence together, we're putting adjectives in the right, or adverbs, in the right place. And we also want to say, what kind of questions does an adverb answer? Uh, it answers how or when, or where, or why, um, uh, or to what extent. So I have adverbs that answer how. Uh, he ran quickly. Or I had adverbs, uh, when, uh, he ran yesterday, um, where, um, he ran downhill, uh, why and to what extent, those are all questions that adverbs answer. So, um, and adverbs, as I said, also can modify other things besides verbs. Uh, an answer, uh, an adjective could uh, modify an adjective, an adverb could modify an adjective. Uh, as in mostly harmless. Mostly is modifying the adjective harmless. So as I said, adverbs are slippery. You want to watch out for them. Then we have pronouns. A pronoun takes the place of a noun. So pronouns, some of the pronouns you may be familiar with are the personal pronouns, uh, such as I, you, and so on and so forth. And then there are also pronouns uh, that um, are um, what are called indefinite pronouns, things like somebody or anyone. those types of uh, pronouns. And you also have pronouns that can act as conjunctions, uh, relative pronouns like which or that. So pronouns basically are things that if you, uh, you're putting them in a sentence to take the place of a noun.
Then finally, we have interjections. An interjection uh, is basically a little extra word that's thrown in there that shows emotion. Um, and in a way, interjections aren't really part of the main sentence structure, but they can show something uh, that gets the reader emotionally involved in the sentence. For example, um, ouch, or hey, or wowee, things like that. So interjections are things that show emotion. Uh, in particular, if you've got a situation where you may be using an exclamation point, you may also be using an interjection uh, to show the reason for the exclamation point.